Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com, Infinity Custom Works, all the things. Um, so I'm working on a 2018 Nissan Armada when it's going to be a big job. Uh, I got it cleaned, clayed, and dry yesterday, and I did not realize when I sold the job how hammered this paint was because it was very dirty and I really couldn't see a ton of scratches through the excessive dirt that was on it. Doesn't matter now. I've got it. Got to polish it. Got to paint the front end. Let me show it to you. All right, well, this is clean paint and that's what it looks like. Not good. Um, I am going to I'm going to basically going to blend the front of the hood. He's got some love bug etchings on here that we want to go away. I did a test spot yesterday. I sanded all of this to see what I could get rid of. And it's a good amount, but once you polish it back out, you can still see all the junk and he doesn't like it. So that's fine. I'm going to blend the front of the hood and then re-clear the whole thing. I'm going to blend the front of these fenders here and here. And then I'm going to blend the clear here and here. I'm going to sand this entire front bumper down. And then I'm going to repaint the bumper and re-clear that too. So I'm going to blend into both of the fenders, but I'm going to do a full repaint of the bumper. So base coat, then clear coat. And then on the hood, I'm just going to blend the paint in to get rid of all this nastiness. And then I'm going to re-clear coat the hood. So what I'm going to do now is get under there and remove the sensors. And then I'm going to tape some stuff up and start sanding. I got some uh, 600 grit. If this stuff was worse than this, I'd probably go down to like, you know, 180, 220. Uh, but because it's not horrible, I'm gonna go ahead and, and, and not real deep, except for areas like this, where they've been touched up. I'm just gonna blend some paint in and get her done. This is my new paint bay. Um, this is this vehicle is literally pushing the limits of my capability in this bay, but no problem at all. In fact, I've got room to work in the front. I've got my exhaust fans and that kind of thing. And I don't really have a ton of room to work in the back, but the reality is I can position this thing where I could paint all the way around it and still shut the doors. Um, I mean, look how bad this paint is. I mean, it is just hammered. So I'm gonna be using the new uh, Go one-step polish on this thing. And it's getting a one-step polish everywhere except for where I'm gonna paint. It's also got a bunch of love bug etchings on the roof, but I just, for what I quoted him for this, I'm not gonna be able to do literally anything extra. I just, there's just not enough meat on the bone. So, um, I'm probably going to do a couple of polishing test spots to see, you know, how I can get this to look. But if you just look right where the light is, you can see how nasty these scratches are. I mean, this thing is hammered. So that's the plan. A um, little bit of test polishing, a lot of bit of sanding, a little bit of disassembly, a lot of bit of taping up. And uh, once I got everything painted then i'll do finish up the polishing so i've got about four more days to get this done and that's including today so like i said i'm gonna pull out these sensors so that i don't have to paint them or tape them up or none of that and then we're gonna get more work done you can see this nasty scratch right here which is i'm gonna fill that in 
and get it painted over. I'm not going to be painting this thing. But anyway, it's a little bit of uh, what I got going on. Man, look how hammered that is. All right, time to get to work. I'll bring you back when I got more done. All right, just want to give you guys a quick update real quick. I have the car all masked off. Um, I am still spraying the high build uh, primer. There's a little area here that I'm trying to build up. And then there was a massive scratch here that I didn't feel like sanding anymore on. It's, there you go, you can see it. Um, this bunching will come out whenever I sand it, but again, um, you got to deal with the scope of work that's, that you're being, uh, paid for and what you've agreed to. So that's kind of where I'm at. And if I make this front end look absolutely amazing, the problem is going to be the rest of the car just does not look amazing. And I don't want it to stick out like a sore thumb. This is a 2018. It's almost eight years old and it's nice. It just needs a little bit of paintwork. So that's kind of where we're at. Um, I got the hood. I got most of the love bug stuff sanded out. Um, I didn't go down to bare metal, but I did scuff it really, really nice. Uh, and then the whole hood got 600 grit. Well, essentially it got the red scuff pad from 3M. And uh, anyway, so I got all my tape taping done. I'm gonna blend this fender and then I will blend the clear. I'm not gonna clear the whole fender on this one. I am gonna only blend the top section here because of that little spot. Um, I was trying to sand and I actually went into primer right there. So I stopped as soon as I saw the primer so I don't have to prime. It's still got some, some sticky left under it, but, uh, I got everything masked. And so tomorrow I'm going to come in cause you generally want to wait 24 hours for, uh, f um, filler primer to cure up. And like I said, the, the the scope of work determines how far you take things, uh, the price, uh, the customer's expectation, all the things. Uh, there is a dent in the hood here. And because there are dents all throughout the car, I'm not going to charge my customer, nor am I going to spend the time to fix that dent. And there's also a dent just a little bit farther up. You can't see it, but um, this is so that my blends work well. Um, I am going to paint. I sanded through to primer there. So I'm going to paint from about here to about here. And then just clear over this middle section. And then I'll be painting to here. So that's kind of where we're at. I might shoot some paint on that just because, but... I have a quart of Shopline Plus. Actually, this is just regular Shopline. That's right, I didn't go for the Plus. Um, that'll yield uh, a whole quart sprayable. So I'm gonna spray this top section to remove the, the, the sp specific reason that this is in here is A, it looked really bad, but beyond that, he wanted all the love bug marks to go away. So um, I'm gonna cover up all the love bug marks, marks I'm going to paint to about here, blend into about here, and then re-clear the whole hood. And so that's the plan. So I will bring you back when I've got some more done. I did do some polish testing on this door. It looks a lot better, as you can see. Uh, it needs to be rotary polished to remove the incredible gouges that it has. But we're not doing that. We're going to get... A lot of them gone and enhance the gloss because that was just something that I threw in because the car needed it. Um, there's been some damage in this area. This trim piece around the wheel is all kinds of not okay and has gouges everywhere and missing paint. But anyway, so that's that. And uh, I'll bring you back tomorrow whenever I am about to paint this thing. All right, it's paint day. Okay. I got my blends done. 
Got paint on everything. Thing looks super nice. So now it's time to put some clear on it. So I'm gonna go mix up the clear. I'm going to put two medium wet coats of clear on this thing and then uh, pull my tape, hit it with the uh, blending reducer to blend it into the fenders, to blend the clear into the fenders and then um, should be good to go. So I'm gonna go mix up my clear, get it back over here, tack everything off real quick and then uh, hit those two coats of clear. All right, this Armada is good to go. As you'll notice, there's definitely some dust nibs in it, which I will get out tomorrow. I wanna to let the clear coat cure for 24 hours before you can cut and buff it. But I'll get most of that stuff out of there. Bumper looks great. I, I do still have to sand my blend and then basically uh, cut and buff the blend area as well. So. I'll do that tomorrow. Uh, this is still some sanding scratches. Um, I got my, my tapes a little tight. Anyway, long story short, I should be able to blend that in and polish that fender and you shouldn't notice that it's there. Um, everything else looks great. I got it demasked and good to go. What I am doing now is I'm polishing. I have polished this passenger door, but I wanna show you just real quick. See how scratched up and nasty it is. I know I showed you at the beginning of the video, but it's gross and I am not being paid to remove all these scratches however I am going to make it look darker and blacker to match the new paint so if you can see this looks nice and dark as you come into here I did polish this section but you can see the polishing line where it stops where that's like a graphite gray haziness and then you get to the fresh clear and it's nice or the comparison is fresh clear and then not polished at all so i'm going to get it looking nice and that's what i'm doing i'll bring you back when i got more done all right the grand finale of this uh, 2018 nissan armada got the new rubber juice on the tires painted the bumper and the hood and blended into the fender looks awesome polish the entire car looks good now Looks awesome. Ready to give her back to the customer. I took those sensors out and put them all four back in there. Everything's working properly and looking amazing. So that's it. That's my work on this 2018 Nissan Armada. If you need paint work done, detailing, any of that, give me a shout. 813-846-4406. Have a great day, guys.